Kenya president laments over Bari's call to get him arrested for approving Nambekanu's extradition and detention in Kenya. Hey, <laughs> hey, whoa. Oh, my people, I greet you now this very evening. It's a pleasure reaching out to you once again. This is the Lord TV. Um, you will not believe what has just been revealed to us this very evening. The Kenya president is now the black sheep in the midst of those who actually used him for their evil doings. You see, that is why it's not good to, um, to be a part of evil. Look at um, the same him that tried to give Nigerian government or officials a helping hand is now the one they are now actually going after. President Mopari has now diverted the allegation and accusation on the Kenya president, claiming that the Kenya president intentionally approved the extradition of Unam de Kanu for his own selfish interest. Now, the question is this. Who, who actually demanded for the helping hand of the Kenya president? Because the Kenya president cannot just um, approve the arrest of a stranger. Because according to him, he doesn't know Unam de Kanu from Adam. It was according to the... The, the explanation from the federal government tagging Nnamdi the Kano to be a, a long time terrorist that they have been looking for that actually gave him the move to approve his arrest and detention for eight days in Kenya before he was now extradited. The cats. Hmm. Wahala. Let's hear the content. Let's see the content. Let's know what the content is actually talking about. This is evening news. Disgusting. Barry has finally called for the arrest of the Kenya president for approving the extradition of Namde Kano to Nigeria. The president who has claimed that the Kenya president did this for his own selfish interest. He said that Namdi Kanu already of a truth was captured and arrested in Kenya but with no approval other than that of the Kenya president. Bari has denied not having any negotiation or discussion concerning the arrest of Namdi Kanu. He said that the Kenya president has finally of a truth done his own underground investigation seen Namdi Kanu to be an investment that would bring income to the Kenya government. Keeping Namdi Kanu in Kenya for eight days is a picture of a clear plan between the Kenya president and the Kenya officers. Bari has claimed that Namdi Kanu, although is already a god but found terrorists who has proved himself to be innocent of all allegations. He claimed that Namde Kano has beyond every reasonable doubt accepted the justice as demanded by the court of law and also has given to the court what the court actually demands. He said that it is a clear picture that the Kenya president will have a basic knowledge of Namdi Kanu's presence in Kenya and has done his own investigation to get him arrested even before the negotiation began with his officers, he claimed. President Mobari has shifted blame. He has shifted the blame on the Kenya president, and that serves him right. Mm, that serves him right. Next time, he will know that things of this such should not be done with people of this caliber. Look at the Benin Republic president. Look at what he did. Today, who in Nigeria 
can approach or question the Benin Republic president. The um, what's it called? The former army chief Buratai, with full of guts, went to Benin to demand for the extradition of the Yoruba um, agitator Sunday Igbo. See what the other one told him. It it told him off. He told him, I cannot do such a thing. He escorted him out of the border. He didn't. Today, who can talk to the Benin Republic president? He did not give it to them. Now look at. Eh? Now, who is going to believe the Kenya president that of a truth? Wari actually negotiated with him to get Namdekan extradited because now Bari is now claiming that he knows nothing about Namdekan's extradition, that it was a planned job between the Kenya president and his officers. Now that they now want to use Namdekan to get more money. <laughs> hey, well, president Mubari will not kill somebody with this. It, see, this accusation is very clear to be childish. It's a childish accusation. It's not, it, it doesn't look real. Come on, my dear listeners. Politics is a dirty game. Let me hear from you. Let me know what you think and what's your take on what has just been revealed. Maybe don't forget your comments. They are still very much of great importance. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you